You are now listening to the homily of Father McGowan, priest and member of the Discalced Carmelite Order. This service is provided by the Lecto Divina team, part of the LOV Verbum Day in ministry, who invites you all to share this reflection and their love for the Word of God. The Gospel is the good news of salvation for mankind, that salvation is only through Jesus Christ. As Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You alone have the words of eternal life. Greetings to all who are listening, especially to the members of the Love Verbum Day family. The Gospel today is John chapter 15 verses 9 to 17. What Jesus says in today's Gospel should astonish us. He begins by saying, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. I don't know how to explain that, even though it's self-explanatory. I don't have the words to express the significance of these words. But If you really understand them and believe them, then they are life-changing to know that Jesus loves us with a divine love. That is an awesome statement. But there's more. Love one another, says Jesus, as I have loved you. This too should astonish. Love is the most powerful force in the world. There's no limit to it. It's what makes the world go round. People will sacrifice their lives for love. I will never forget a tragic incident near to where I used to live in South London. A mother was crossing the road with her child They got to the other side, but then the child noticed it had dropped its teddy bear in the middle of the busy road. Being a child, it just ran back into the road to pick up the bear. The mother could see the traffic, but she instinctively wanted to protect her child and ran into the path of a lorry. Both she and her child were killed. She died out of love for her child. It's an experience I've never forgotten. The mother gave her life to save her child's. And this is what Christ did. He gave his life not just for this child, but for all children, indeed for everyone, child, mother, father, good people, as well as bad people. And he says to us that we are to love as he has loved. That's a tall order, but love knows no limits. The final point that might astonish you in the Gospel is when Christ says, I call you friends. Maybe it won't astonish, but I don't think it's easy for many to believe. We are brought up to worship Christ, to genuflect before him in the tabernacle. We will revere and respect him in the Blessed Sacrament, and that is right. But Christ wants more than this. He wants to relate to us as a friend. Think about that. Think about a friend. He or she 
is someone you trust, you can say anything to, and you know it won't go any further. A good friend listens to you. A good friend makes you feel better just because they are there. You know you can turn to them in need. With a good friend, you can be yourself. You don't have to pretend to be someone else. Well, can you imagine Christ as such a friend? That is what he wants to be. He wants to be your friend. Can you let him? Good friends can look each other in the eye and know what the other is thinking or feeling. It's the same with Christ. He knows you. Look him in the eye and tell him things as you would a friend or just be with him. Good friends don't need to talk all the time. They can be happy just to be in each other's company. Jesus wants to be with you as your friend, your very special friend. What a difference this would make to our lives if we could believe this. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lecto Divina team hopes that this homily has helped you to deeply welcome them to put the word into practice where you are. You can send us your prayer intentions by emailing them to us using the follow email address lov underscore verbum day v e r b u m d e i at outlook.com. The Wednesday prayer group gathering at 6 30 pm UK time and Father McGowan will pray particularly for these prayer intentions. If this homily has enlightened or touched you in any way, please share it with your relatives, friends, community and on all your social media. Have a blessed week. <laughs>